the smallest things sometimes make the biggest difference to the world we live in. Take bees for instance. Now, you and I know that bees have given the world one of its sweetest gifts, honey. But did you know that bees could also shoulder the responsibility of enriching and uplifting the life of small farmers? No, I didn't believe that either the first time I read about it. But it's to find out about exactly that that I'm driving this frankly stunning Hyundai Verna down the open highway on the outskirts of Mumbai. A brisk, scenic journey north of Mumbai down the NH8 was to lead us to the brain behind the Under the Mango Tree Society, an organization that worked with small farmers in tribal communities. While it was destined to be a day of new learnings, the drive itself too was an absolute eye-opener. Enjoying the Verna's creamy power delivery, agile mannerisms and just the overall air of premiumness in the cabin made the drive refreshing and thoroughly enjoyable. You know, my drive today has been quite the reminder of just why the Verna is so awesome. It's not needlessly big or bulky and it's just got the right amount of space to seat five in great comfort and enormous boot that can take up actually a lot of luggage, although I don't happen to be carrying any today. And it just makes for such a simple, pure and enjoyable driving experience. The narrow roads led us to a small but incredibly beautiful hamlet near Talasari, where most residents are engaged in small farming. It was here that we met Vijaya Pastala, the founder of UTMT Society, who talked us through her initiative and the impact it aims to create. Hi, my name is Vijaya Pastala. I'm the founder of Under the Mango Tree. So I started Under the Mango Tree about 11 years ago, uh, primarily because I got exposed to bees, saw farmers, you know, bringing bee boxes uh, to their farms for pollination. Um, this was in Himachal and then in other places as well. And realized that, uh, you know, what if we could uh, train farmers to add bee boxes on their farms and then market the honey that was then collected. So you would impact the farmer on their rural livelihood and you would also help them increase their income. So we've been working for 11 years. Um, and since 2009, when we started, we have been, we've trained about 3,000, 4,000 farmers. We've trained more than that, but it's, you know, some farmers have grown in, and continued at beekeepers. So I would say currently we have about 3,000 farmers that are practicing beekeepers. We have about 6,000 bee boxes across three states, Gujarat, Maharashtra, and Madhya Pradesh. So we are working in three states. Um, with small farmers, so the farmers are very small, half an acre, they in, their income, uh, yearly income would be about 25,000 uh, rupees. So really, really small farmers, subsistence farmers. So that's our work. That wonderfully interesting demonstration later, we interacted with the locals and were even invited to a delicious home-cooked lunch over which we learned of the challenges of the locals and their industry but also their commitment to creating a better life for themselves. That was a truly pleasant day. What a beautiful place, what beautiful people and just such a fantastic initiative. Now, as you probably guessed, I am very excited for the drive back to Mumbai and the Verna, not just because I get to stretch its legs, but because this appetizing jar of organic honey was my parting gift from these lovely people. Guess who's got newfound respect for bees now?